Hi guys, what's going on? I want to show how you get your Blu-ray drive back when it's not shown under my computer, like it's not recognized from the system. And to do that, you just follow the steps I'm going to show you right now. But let's have a look first. As you can see, I cannot find my Blu-ray drive here. So let's going to bring it back. The first thing you want to do is enter the registry of your computer. And in order to do that, you need to press Windows R. Then you type rec edit, press OK and confirm that one with yes. And you successfully entered the registry of your computer. Now you want to open the folder HK local machine and a couple of other ones like uh, system. Then you go for current control set and services. This can be a bit confusing, but you just press AT to find the folder Atapi. You open that one, and if you find the folder controller 0, you want to delete that, because we are recreating it right now. And to do that, you right click the folder Atapi, go to New, and select Key to create a new key. You also rename it to controller 0. Then you right click that one as well, go to new again, and now you choose the option D word value. And don't get confused by the brackets, even if you're running a 64 bit system, you want to make sure to choose the 32 bit option. As you can see, I'm running a 46 bit Betriebssystem. But that's no problem, it's just a bit confusing. So make sure to create a D word value and name that one enum device one and confirm with enter. Then you right click that one, choose change and switch the value which is already selected to one. Ignore these, press OK, close everything and restart your computer. So let's see if that brought my blue drive back. Yeah, there it is. Nice. Sometimes it doesn't work the first time, but what you do then, I'm going to show you right now. You re-enter your registry by pressing Windows R again. Recordit is already typed in. Press Enter. Confirm Yes. Everything's at where we left it. And you delete the Controller 0 folder again. Now you want to reset your computer with these settings and see if it works. If that's not the case, give it a third try, recreate the controller zero folder and repeat all the steps from then. I know that sounds a bit weird, but sometimes it works for me just after a couple of tries. So good luck guys and see you around.